All right, let me move this out of the way here. Hope you're having a good day. It is, what is it, Tuesday? I hate that thing. I got rid of that at some point. Um, it's Tuesday, and it is a big, long holiday weekend. I hope you had a good weekend. The weather was great. There's Molly. You know, it says remembering Molly, which means we're having to remember her because she's not sitting right here. I know. I, I, she, we lost her probably two months ago. Um, not didn't really talk about it at the time because I was sad. I'm not. A, I am a cat guy, I guess. Molly, if you live in the Bay Area and you were around during the pandemic, you probably, you might, I shouldn't say probably, I don't know how many, but a lot of people were watching TV and we had home studios back then, right? So the pandemic comes, we're broadcasting from home because we can't go in the studio. And so I moved my studio into the um, cat's room, which is kind of like a playroom. And so Molly, who is, by the way, I'm just popular to, or contrary to popular belief, she really wasn't super snuggy. Like she was very much a girl cat, you know, kind of just did what she wanted. And then you just kind of had to, you just kind of had to deal with it. Right. And so she started showing up in my camera feeds when we'd be live. Right. So I'd be doing the weather at channel two and she'd just pop in. And the, the reason she even got any traction with this was because I'm like, I'm not touching her because if I reached up right in this picture and tried to pet her, she would probably bite me. And if you remember, this just kind of got swept under the rug, but during the pandemic, there was the, I think it was the mayor of Vallejo was doing a zoom meeting for the city council. It made like, it went viral. So anyway, he's doing a zoom meeting and he, his cat jumps up and he tries to pet his cat and the cat just mauls him jams on his hand and he takes the cat and he just goes wham and flings the cat on the video which made it to like tmz right and so it just blew up and i don't know i don't even know what happened to the mayor but so i'm like i'm not going there i would never throw her by the way certainly but i'm certainly not going to take the opportunity to get bit by a cat anyway molly lived to be 19 years old which is awesome for a cat um you know outdoor cat at that um she became very popular during the the at least when i say popular i i judge it by like who corresponds with me so like on emails or um facebook or you know twitter or instagram people went off like how much they really liked this cat and she would just show up like i'd be sitting there and i didn't know when she was going to show up and she would show up and She'd walk in front of the camera. I don't I don't really have any footage of that, but she would lay right there. And then when she decided it was time to get up and go and walk and be on camera, she would. And it was kind of uncanny how she knew, I guess probably when I turned the lights on, she'd show up. This was the home studio and that's actually the chroma key over there. This was a camera here. And then I had a camera set up here, a desk shot. And she kind of lived right there. And again, it's not like I'm reaching over snuggling this cat. It's like I'm almost, it's like I'm in the cage of a lion and I'm like, just don't wake up the damn cat because uh, <laughs> I'll tell you a story, um, which I've never really told. But when I, when I was doing this uh, broadcast one time, I had my computer here. Well, here, let me back. I think I can, I don't know if I can back that. Maybe I can. I'm going to try this and see what happens. Oh yeah, there you go. So you see the computer and that's basically all of our content for the newscast or for the weather cast, right? And here's the shows. Well, at one point she walked over and stepped on the computer delete thing in the, in the commercial break and deleted like a ton of graphics and a ton of content. <laughs> and it's not just for me, but for like the station. And people were like, well, what happened? I go, I don't know. You know, I, I couldn't, I, I, I didn't, I, I lied. I lied. I didn't, I, I, I didn't know. But the damn cat, Molly, stepped on the delete key, which deleted a bunch of stuff. So, yeah, that would be Molly for you. This is Carl. Carl's, you might hear him barking right now. Carl is scared of Molly as well. Molly did not completely, she didn't like Carl. And so this is a classic Molly picture, which I love this picture actually of Molly, because that's who she was. She was super, not angry, but super, you know, just Molly. Anyway, she's gone. I miss her. But you know what? 
like my dad's what's dad now dad's like 97 when you when you hit when you get up there like 19 and you're a cat an outdoor cat you're starting to get greedy like even my dad i'm like dude you're 97 you're getting greedy now man um and so i kind of i was sad i was really sad when she passed um but i really go wow how lucky were, was i to have her or were we to have or how lucky was she right okay so that's molly um and if you wrote in about her which a lot of you more people than you can even imagine like really hit me up like oh my god and i met the, the other thing I'll, I'll say too is cat people they're kind of awesome i mean cat people cat ladies there are a lot of cat ladies so i don't know what this is but they're, they're they're really nice they're really nice people and they're really sweet so anyway they love molly i don't know if they even like me but they you know during the pandemic i i think i garnered a whole bunch of new viewers because of the damn cat okay here we are now there is the fog it's clearing off the coast pretty much today is going to be very similar to yesterday because we've got high pressure onshore winds there we are and what's going to happen the next few days see that green up to the north see this up in here so watch what happens everything stays up there right and so this pattern i'm going through the days right now breezy gale warnings offshore northwest wind we're all the way to next weekend right so and there's another tweak that that those tweaks when i say tweaks it's this thing right up in here that those blues and greens that represents a system going to the north that is going to disrupt the pacific high which typically keeps us warm dry and gives us these upper 80s low 90s in in, in the spring and early summer months and we're not seeing that we're seeing, I mean, we are, we're seeing these lows go by and continually weaken the Pacific high. So the pattern is slow, small fluctuations day to day as we go through the period. It's been like this for a few weeks. Um, as we look at the uh, winds offshore, look at that 38 mile an hour gust off the buoy 13, which is north of here. That's an offshore buoy. It's gusting to 38 miles an hour. It's sustained at 30 miles an hour. So it's windy. Uh, let's check out um, Half Moon Bay Airport. It is the wind speed's 10 miles an hour. It's gusting to, I don't see the gust there, gusting to nine knots. No, 10 speeds, wind directions northwest. So there you go. And look at the temperatures. Was it 79 degrees right now in 79 degrees in at Concord Airport? So it's just a nice day. And then if you go up to, um, south eight mile, but Caltrans sensor up in Eastern Sacramento, it is 81 degrees. So there you go. Oh, I want to show you this. This is a profiler. It's an acoustic profiler. This one's at Fort Ord. It measures the depth of the marine layer. So I think you can see my cursor. I wish, I hope you can. That's 2000 feet. And you see that line, how it's just the, the blue is right at about 2000 feet and not fluctuating except a little bit in here. That's the marine layer depth. When that marine layer is down to a thousand feet, then you start seeing nineties inland. That's not what we're, that's not what we're going to see. What we're seeing right now is this flat line of 2000 feet foot deep marine layer, even deeper. It's going to keep us in the same zone. So there you go. This whole week, a lot like last week, a lot like yesterday and the day before breezy conditions offshore. And yes, Molly is not with us anymore, but uh, not forgotten. All right, I'll see you back here.